The Great Lavra Bell Tower dominates above all constructions of Kyiv Pechersk Lavra. It was constructed in 1731-1745 after the design of the architect and engineer Jogan Gottfried Schedel. With the support of Hetman Ivan Mazepa, the materials had been acquired and the base had been made with the depth of more than 6 meters. The construction consists of 5 million pieces of brick, which have different sizes and shapes. In the building of the great Lavra Bell Tower took part such famous masters of the Kyiv Pechersk Lavra as Stepan Kovnir, Josef Rubashevsky, Ivan Horoch and others. The belfry has the vaulted arched construction. The walls of every tier are overlapped with boiler walls in the upper parts. In third and fourth tiers there are eight arch spaces that make all parts of the building light and slim, making them look like open-air pavilions. There are the panoramic squares framed with balustrades with balusters at the tier. The pyramidal construction of the bell tower and enlargement of proportions of every tier from upwards makes a dynamic impression. The building represents a cathedral tower in a height of 96.5 meters, which has four tiers. Diameter of the basis of the bell tower is 28 meters. The thickness of walls at the bottom is 8 meters. Each tier of the bell tower has its own decoration and use. The first tier is rustic in the form of laying, which imitates the big rectangular stone. The Lavra archives were here. Three ancient reliefs depicting Mother of God and Reverend Fathers Antony and Theodosius stooped before her are imbued into walls of the first tier. The inscription on the reliefs says that they were made in the time of Prince Simeon Olelkovich in 1470, so it is one of few monuments of Southern Rus art of 15th century. The second tier is decorated with Roman Doric columns, which are in groups between eight windows. The complex entablature is stretched above the columns. In the second tier, an architect projected simple and bright library room in a very original way. The window apertures, thanks to the considerable thickness of walls, have created eight deep niches, in which the rare books were stored on special shelves. A library of the monastery housed over 30,000 books. The third tier of the bell tower is framed with the ionic columns. The belfry itself is located on the third tier. The bells have been the only musical instrument used in Orthodox divine service. Ten bells, the total weight of which was 96 tons, were installed there. There is a viewing platform, which gives a bird's eye view of the city landscape. The fourth tier is framed by the columns of Corinthian order, the capitals of which are decorated with two-headed gilded eagles. This tier was used for installing the chime. In 1903, under an order of the Holy Synod of Lavra, Moscow master Andrei Yenodin has made the clock, which model was similar to Kremlin chiming clock. The clock has no face and hands, its mechanism weights four and a half tons. It is connected with eight small bells, the chime every quarter of an hour, and every hour is marked by two bell ringings. The clockwork is wound up once a week by hand. The gilded dome and a cross in height of four and a half meters crown the bell tower. During the Second World War, the Great Lavra Bell Tower was damaged. Restoration lasted for five years and was completed in 1961. You can mount up to the fourth tier of the bell tower by 374 fixed steps leading from the first tier to the last one, and from the height of the bird's flight you can enjoy the remarkable panorama of ancient and eternally new cave.